These days, the Alone in the Dark series doesn't really seem to be talked about all that much. But that doesn't mean it's not interesting. I mean, its style of gameplay is basically the direct inspiration for that of the original Resident Evils. Alone in the Dark is a piece of survival horror video game history. And the fact that, at least to me, the fact that the series doesn't seem to be talked about all that much isn't stopping developers from working on a new up-and-coming title as of this year, 2015. Alone in the Dark is uh, pretty widely known to be a series of PC games. Although, thankfully for us console gamers at heart, most of the games in its series have been ported to some kind of console. When a game uh, gets released for another platform after it's already been released for one platform, that is called porting. The only console to which the very first title in the Alone in the Dark series, the original Alone in the Dark game, was ported was the Panasonic 3DO. Alone in the Dark 2 was also released for 3DO, and it was given upgraded textures and slightly upgraded graphics and everything, and then ported to PlayStation and Sega Saturn. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare was ported to PlayStation, Dreamcast, and the European PAL PlayStation 2. There was also a Game Boy Color version of Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare released. In 2008, there was a game with a very Nugent style of gameplay and graphics titled Alone in the Dark, and that game was ported to Xbox 360, Wii, PlayStation 2, and it was also released on PlayStation 3 titled Alone in the Dark Inferno. There's one game that I skipped in the middle of that list, and that is Alone in the Dark 3. Alone in the Dark 3 was never ported to any console, sadly. But that doesn't mean even these days that it's not possible. I heard that the 3DO is very easy uh, for which to make reproduction discs. That's when you can actually take a ROM, see, take a digital ROM file on a computer, burn it to a disc, and actually play it in your 3DO console. I've asked ReproDisc makers if it's possible to do this with Alone in the Dark 3. And they tell me that it is not. Because Alone in the Dark 3 is, is much too powerful for the Panasonic 3DO. I mean, it was released on PC CD-ROM when the first two games were just released on floppy disks. Although, it is also possible to make ReproDiscs for Dreamcast, the Sega Dreamcast without any mods to the console or anything. Can Alone in the Dark 3 be ported to the Dreamcast? I've also asked around whether or not Alone in the Dark 3 can be ported to the Dreamcast, and I'm told that it still might be too powerful for that console also. Although, I own and have played Alone in the Dark 2 for 3DO. When I play that game on that console, and I'm watching the cutscenes, each view shot freezes on the last frame while the next shot has to load. That takes up to around 5 to 10 Mississippi seconds. And when I actually play the game, it is a little bit laggy. Is that how Alone in the Dark 3 would end up behaving on Dreamcast? And if so, if these are things that are just going to have to be dealt with when playing such ports of these games, then it's something I'm willing to accept. I would just really like to own Alone in the Dark 3 for play on some kind of console rather than PC. Because again, I'm a console gamer at heart. I don't, you know, I'm one of those people who aren't quite fond of PC gaming. I've done it before. Yeah, it's fun. Just, like I said, consoles. It's the way I've been used to playing my games all my life. And if Alone in the Dark 3 can't be ported to the Dreamcast, then how about something even more powerful, like the PS2? Maybe even just the PS1. I've heard that PlayStation and PlayStation 2 repro discs are possible. As long as the console has some kind of mod chip. I would pay somebody to mod my PS2 so that it can play PS1, PS2 repro discs. And I would buy a copy of Alone in the Dark 3 for some kind of console that I own right from you. You know, there is a such thing called fan porting. 
if infogrames themselves aren't willing to do such a thing, there is a certain thing called fan porting. I've heard that people have or are working on fan porting Half-Life opposing force. As a matter of fact, Half-Life Blue Shift was originally only officially released for PC. Although, to my understanding, Valve did develop a ROM for a port of Half-Life Blue Shift for the Dreamcast. Just they never released it. Although, people have found that ROM and have actually burned it to a disc and made it possible to play on your very own Dreamcast. Here's the proof. Right here. I've even posted my own gameplay footage of it with commentary. It's showing the, an animation of the Lambda. You know, the, the, the Lambda symbol inside the, that circle that, 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 that represents, you know, Half-Life, the series and stuff. If this can be done with Half-Life Blue Shift and Half-Life Opposing Force, why not Alone in the Dark 3? Therefore, you could have a complete collection of the Alone in the Dark games, all of them, up until the 2008 release. Who knows if they're going to port the new one coming out. But you can own the complete collection of all the Alone in the Dark games, on up to the 2008 version, all on some kind of game console that you own. And I hope that they don't just port it to some new console coming out, because, well, me personally, I don't own anything newer than an Xbox 360. And my TV, it's, it's an old Philips tube TV. And no, I'm not going to go spend 200 up to 400 600 900 dollars, hundreds of dollars to update. I don't want to. You can't make me. Just I ask, can somebody, can somebody please make this happen? Can you get the game onto some kind of disc that'll boot up somehow in my Dreamcast? 3DO even, if that is actually possible. Modded PS2 or even original Xbox or even GameCube. There is like this physical mod I've heard of that people have done for like uh, an outside housing uh, for the GameCube. You can actually take your GameCube apart, swap the old factory housing with this, this new plastic housing that allows you to fit bigger regular sized discs in the disc tray and to load up on the GameCube hardware rather than those little bitty discs that the GameCube was originally released to play. I mean, if you had to go with Dreamcast and you couldn't map all the commands to the Dreamcast controller, maybe the ROM on the disc could require the Dreamcast keyboard. Then you can map all the commands to the Dreamcast keyboard. The Dreamcast keyboard, it's like any old keyboard. It's got all the keys that a normal keyboard would have. Although, I imagine that Dreamcast keyboards are a bit hard to come by these days in good working conditions because they're such old keyboards. But here's another idea. Since Repro third-party made controllers do exist for regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation, the works, is there any little company out there who's willing to design and release a Repro version of the Dreamcast keyboard if it hasn't been done already? One thing I've been suggested is that maybe repro makers don't exactly feel the need to work on a port of Alone in the Dark 3 because there wouldn't be that high of demand for it. Or would there be? I mean, wouldn't you like to own the entire collection of the whole Alone in the Dark series available to play on some kind of TV console that you might already own or could get at a probably fairly decent price?